Attention all Haldivers, big news just dropped from the war zone and it's mechanical, massive and might just be a game changer. Welcome back to the channel, where we dissect the hottest leaks and updates from your favorite games. If you're a fan of Haldivers 2, you won't want to miss today's explosive reveal. Hey everyone, I'm thrilled to bring you some tantalizing news from the front lines of Haldivers 2. A fresh leak has just surfaced about a brand new exosuit match called the Exo 49 Emancipator. Let's dive into what this could mean for your next deployment. The Exo 49 Emancipator is reported to be a beast of durability and strategy. Unlike its predecessors, this exosuit can be deployed twice per mission, offering a unique tactical advantage. But here's the twist, it reportedly packs less punch in terms of damage output. Let's break down what this means. First up, durability. The Emancipator is set to handle a lot more heat than the Exo 45 Patriot, giving you the ability to stay longer in the fight. This could be crucial for those high difficulty missions where survival is everything. Now, regarding firepower, the new match may not hit as hard or penetrate armor like the older models. This has been a point of contention with players who found the recent Exo 45 Patriot lacking against heavily armored foes. Here's some exclusive test footage that was leaked by a known community leaker, Emptiness. Remember, since this is from a test phase, the final product might look and behave differently. Everything from its damage stats to its cooldown timer, which currently stands at a whopping 600 seconds, could change before release. Exosuits in Haldivers 2 are not just about brute force, they serve strategic roles offering both offensive and defensive benefits. With the Exo 49's ability to be deployed twice, strategizing when and where to deploy could be key to mission success. Last month's edition of the Exo 45 Patriot received mixed reviews from the community. Players took to forums like Reddit to express their concerns about its effectiveness against high armor units. It's clear that Arrowhead needs to balance power and durability to meet player expectations. So, what do you all think about the Exo 49 Emancipator? Is it the upgrade we've been waiting for, or does it need more firepower to truly make a mark? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you love staying ahead with the latest game leaks and analysis, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Thanks for tuning in. Check out our other videos right here for more in-depth gaming content. Stay safe out there, Heldivers, and keep pushing back the alien threat.